Antonino, are you there? Hi, just checking whether you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. It's all yours. Hi, thanks a lot. And thanks also to Clive and everyone who put together this very interesting event. It's been a pleasure listening uh, to all of you. So oh, my name is Antonino. I'm a space lawyer. I recently joined the Open Lunar Foundation as policy analyst. And I'm presenting this abstract also on behalf of my colleague, Jessica uh, Schingler. And today with this presentation, we wanted to solicit reflections on the coordination aspects of a coordinated uh, campaign. Um, next slide, please. So we, what, we, what we wanted to do is solicit reflections on a number of things that are critical to the success of this, of this campaign, but that of course a scientist may not be the first thing that you've been, uh, that you've been reflecting upon. Uh, and those uh, critical aspects are summarized in six points that you can see on this slide. So I will briefly touch upon each and every one of them, but the purpose of this presentation is more to ask the questions and then see how we can answer them all, all, all together. The first question is management, right? How will a coordinated campaign be coordinated? It's, it, may be, it may seem like a simple question, but it's a critical one. Is it gonna be a single entity? Maybe, you know, those who organize this event coordinating everything, or is it gonna be that everyone who participates get a say into how do we manage the campaign? And then this brings the question of admission. How do we decide who participates in this campaign? What are the incentives to participate? And on the other hand, what are the requirements? What kind of contribution do we expect or would we accept to, um, to allow someone to become a participant, an active contributor um, to, this, uh, to this effort? And this is particularly important, the, the decision on admission and management, because the potential impact of this campaign uh, it could be massive, especially on the development of standards, right? At the moment, we have been hearing a lot about how do we turn, how do we consider something a reserve, whereas now we're discussing about resource. We will, will need standards and, and parameters for doing that. And this campaign um, can definitely inform decisions about when a resource can be considered as a reserve. Uh, and that also connects with the topic that has been discussed extensively already in the chat and has been a pleasure following that discussion, which is about data policy, right? What's going to be the data access and licensing regime for um, for this campaign, for whatever it's going to be found in this campaign, and how are we going to distinguish between scientific and commercial data? What's going to be available for the rest of the public that is interested in the results of this campaign? What's going to be available to decision makers? What's going to be available to investors and then to the scientific community? There's going to be different layers of people interested in the data and how do we handle uh, them? And then this brings me also to the point of external relations. You know, this campaign will hopefully see a lot of participation, but not everyone who wants to participate will be able to do that for a number of reasons. So how do we interact with the rest of the public? So not only how do we manage data internally, but how do we present the results of this campaign and how this campaign interacts as such with the rest of the scientific, but also commercial community. And then finally, and related to all of it, uh, what is going to be the policy precedence that this campaign will set uh, eventually uh, and unintentionally? Or what kind of precedence do we want to set with this campaign? What do we want to uh, leave as a mark beyond the, sim the data that will be discovered on how do we prospect and eventually then go to the extraction and utilization of space resources? Uh, next slide, please. So, yeah, final one. Yeah, exactly. So I just want to say that all these questions, of course, are, are complicated and they require a discussion. And, and we're very happy to support this process. So please count on us on the Open Lunar Foundation. Both me and, and my colleague Jessica will be um, are available to continue participating in this effort to handle the social political uh, gap and hopefully hope closing it as you all uh, guys continue to do wonderful work in the science aspect. But please do bear in mind that it's critical um, to do both because a scientific, a scientific evaluation is fundamental to this campaign, but a social political evaluation is going to be uh, as critical as you may all think and understand also from the discussion that has been going on in the chat. And so for that, please just feel free to approach us. And with that, I'll conclude. Thank you. Thank you, Antonino.